Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood Oxor. Now, I recently published a video talking about the different grades of the machine gun turrets. There's grades 1, 3, 5, and 7, and each of them do different things. But uh, because I'm so bad at producing videos, I didn't show you what they actually do. And that's the error that I'm hoping to rectify with this video. I want to show you what it actually means to have Mark 1, 3, 5, and 7 turrets. So the way that we're going to run this experiment is we are going to use bad commands to generate some uh, gunners. And we've got four turrets of the same grade. So I'm going to have four Mark 1s, four Mark 3s, four Mark 5s, and four Mark 7s and basically just watch and have a good old time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and crouch down and let's go bat gunners. Who's there? Wow, all right, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> two, no, three of the four turrets that I created were destroyed. Holy cannoli. What's that noise? What's that hissing noise? All right, so I, I forgot to anticipate that my settlers would come and uh, run to my defense. But if my settlers do that for every single one of these, then I suppose it's still a legitimate experiment, right? All right, maybe this isn't scientific, but it sure is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and switch these out with Mark III turrets. Okay, we've got four Mark III's. These are the ones that are uh, designated HE, uh, 10 millimeter HE. And I'm told by commentors uh, that that stands for high explosive. So, we should see something fairly interesting. Are you ready? All right, here we go. I'll try and hide again, but it's not, it didn't work well last time. What the? Whoa. Whoa. What a difference! Oh my goodness, I'm actually really surprised! We didn't get any settlers intervene with that. You, you saw me, I didn't intervene at all. And uh, the Mark III turrets kind of just tore them to pieces. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, also, notice that they had a different sound effect. It kind of sounded like the bullets snapped when they hit the bodies. So, uh, alright, well now let's try the Mark V, which are incendiary. All right, so we tried the Mark III's, and now we've got some Mark V's, and you see that they've got this sort of gunmetal-looking burnished appearance, and it says incendiary on them. So that means they should set the gunners on fire. So let's test it out. All right, well, it looks like the timing experiment isn't going to work because the uh, gunners don't attack at the same time. Apparently, they have to, uh, some of them are lazy and they don't want to aggro me. So uh, we'll, we'll ignore the time experiment for now, but that's what they actually look like. You can see that uh, uh, they, they tore through them pretty quick, but, you know, I wouldn't say that they tore through them any quicker than the, uh, the Merc 3s. Um, you know what? I got to see that again. Let's try it one more time. All right, that is pretty quick. Did you see those big bursts of flame? Yeah, that is pretty quick. Okay, so pretty impressive. Let's swap these out with some Mark 7s and test that. All right, so there's the Mark 7s. And these are the ones that are explosive. 
1,000 round explosive, so I'm assuming that these have area of effect damage, so I should expect to be harmed myself when these guys start attacking. So let's see what happens. Gosh, this one has a charmed life. This is inconsistent. I'm, I have to admit, I'm dissatisfied with this, this experiment. I mean, the carnage is great. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the carnage. That's nice. But this is, this is frustrating to me because you would expect... I would expect there to be more of a difference between the different tiers. The difference between uh, Mark 1 and Mark 3 was quite significant, but the differences between Mark 3 and Mark 7, um, gosh, it's not so much. Here, let's try summoning a whole bunch of gunners. Okay, here's th uh, two times more than what I summoned last time. <gasps> And they took him out. Well, all right, you can definitely see the difference between the different marks. I had to sit here and repair them constantly. Having 30 different gunners attacking four machine gun turrets at once, well, that's going to be overwhelming for any grade of turret. Um, you know, the best ones so far that I've seen were the Mark Threes, and that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, so I'm just going to leave it at that. What? Are these guys, why are these guys not dead? Why are you not attacking me? Hello? I don't get it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just don't get it. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful somehow. I hope you learned something a little bit. Um... I'm walking away still confused. I don't know which turret is the best, but I can tell you that I'm going to want to avoid area of effect damage uh, simply because I don't want my own machine gun turrets to harm my crops or my stores or my resources or my settlers. So I'll probably be sticking with the Mark Fives uh, since those are simply incendiary and they're not going to be harming um, my own resources. Uh, anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Take that for what it is. I hope you can get something out of it. That is uh, all of the different marks of machine gun turrets on display against real enemies. Hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you later.